So I'm here today at the Derma Skin Care Center in Dubai, basically for mole mapping. So what are they going to do? As you can see, I'm covered in them. I have lots of them. They're going to take digital photography of the moles all over my body, feed them into a computer um, to check for irregularities and any changes. Nobody should underrate the importance of mole scanning or mole mapping. In Australia, there are maybe 500 clinics of mole scanning. And those clinics have radically reduced the rate of death in Australia over 15 years years. So these are very important points to be noticed, early diagnosis, early detection, early checkup. I believe anything which looks different to you and new to you, either in the form of change of the pre-existing uh, lesions on your body or the spots on your body or something which is new. And if it doesn't disappear over a given period of time, no, in given period of time I would say a couple of weeks, not months. If it's an ordinary inflammatory rash, it should disappear or with some creams or emollients or moisturizer. If it's not disappearing, please see a dermatologist. We are in the mole mapping room now and what's going to happen, the doctor's going to come in and he's going to select the moles on my body that he wants to scan and then they will scan them into this machine here and take readings and we'll see whether there are any that he doesn't like or whether they're all okay. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they will all be okay. Number one um, uh, advantage is that it gives us 25 to 30% more findings about the character of the moles because we take a, a penetrating a digital image of the mole which gives us magnified outlook of the mole. And we can see inside color distribution and granule distribution, gray blue areas or vascular pattern under the mole. There are a few things which can find as a danger signs if they are positive or they are negative, which are not seen from the surface. The second thing is to record a baseline status of the moles at this stage and then comparing in the future for any change. So a computer is very sensitive, it picks any even minute change in the character of the mole. Then we have to determine whether that change which has been picked by the computer is significant, uh, significant enough to be challenged for removal or we ignore it till the next examination. So this is the aim of this exercise. Okay, so now it, it has uh, given the score point three. That it is a a borderline suspicious, which is not fully diagnosed melanoma, but not regular mole itself. Mm -hmm. Once we do 30, 40, 50 moles on you, maybe different moles can give us different picture and may, we might find something a little more suspicious than this. And we try to um, act as a proactive strategy of management, so I don't leave the suspicious moles and left unattended. So my approach is that you must go and just get them off. Okay. So we, rather than um, allowing them to go to melanoma stage. No prevention. Again we said the early diagnosis. Early diagnosis is based on your routine checks and it doesn't really take longer. It's just 15 to 20 minutes and one visit a year. And it's only a couple of hundreds of uh, money you spend on one meal in good hotel on and restaurant that money. So you, if you can spend that money to save your life, it's not a bad deal really, it's not a bad bit. So my request is please do regular checks. So from the original malignant melanoma or cancerous mole that I had on my leg, which was a, a tiny mole that hadn't changed in years, they then had to excise a bigger chunk out of my thigh, the margin, to make sure that they'd got all the cancer cells in the original one. And uh, basically, I will show you the result now, and uh, this is what you don't want to end up with. As I said, the prevention is definitely better than a cure. You have to catch these things early. Living here in the UAE, obviously very sunny, very hot climate. If you're working outdoors in the sun, playing outdoors, taking part in any kind of outdoor activities, it's really, really important to obviously cover yourself, take precautions, use the sunscreen, cover up in the dangerous parts of the day and really look after yourself. And if you have any kind of concerns, the best thing to do is head off to your nearest dermatologist and get yourself checked. Let's <laughs> go.